Hello Virgos, how are you doing? Let's take a look at what is going on in love at this time for you here. I hope everyone is doing super, super phenomenal, okay? If you're interested in a personal read, everything is below here. This is going to be a general read. Let's see what the messages are for my beautiful Virgos. Like, share, subscribe if this resonates with you. How is this person that Virgos thinking about? How do they feel about my Virgos? How does this person feel about Virgo? Thank you. Queen of Wands here. So this is someone here that views you as like moving on. So there could be like a, a disconnect here. This is someone here that's like watching you evolve or watching you sort of move on. Honestly, um, I do feel like this person still watches you in the background. They could watch you online or um, again, maybe they... They try to get readings on you, but this is someone here that still thinks about you, still thinks about like how you're doing. I wonder what your life is like. I wonder what's new with you. I wonder what's happening. Very curious energy here. Um, this is this could be somebody that lives like in a very cold climate or this person's from like a different country or a different um, state or some sort of distance here. This person feels like there is this resistant energy to reach out. So... I do feel like this is someone here that thinks about reaching out. They think about it a lot, actually. But they wonder if you're going to put them through it or they're wondering if there's going to be some sort of drama here. So this could be somebody with the three of wands here that's wanting to somewhat avoid drama or not wanting to get judged here. So there's something about being judged. All right. Or something about you bringing something up that they're still doing here. Yeah, I'm hearing cry me a river. All right. Cry me a river to some degree. So I feel like there's this energy of this person feeling like they can't prove their case or they can't really get you to believe them again. Right. So there's something here that you're also realizing about this person. What is this person realizing here? Like what's what's being realized at this time? Because I feel like someone here is at a place where it's like, is Virgo ever going to look at me the same or? Well, Virgo ever a new beginning here. So this is someone here that wants to know if there's going to be a new beginning. But Virgo, I really feel like you're at the point where you're not wanting to deal with someone's like bad habits. There's something about this person's like repetitive behavior or something that you're seeing in a new person that reminds you of past relationships or past behaviors in the past. And you're like, I don't know if I want to go through that again here. Like you're looking for peace, harmony. In your relationships and I do feel like that's the route you're moving towards but this is someone here I feel like they're you know drowning in their emotions they suppress their emotions a lot they're not very emotionally expressive at times here and I feel like some of you felt like there was a very bad false start all right so possibly this is someone here that definitely wants to reach out they want to communicate they want to start from uh, scratch here but Again, I feel like for some of you, you may see like repetitive behaviors with this person. And again, um, for those that know, Mercury in retrograde is around the corner here, right? That's around the corner. So we do have someone here, especially for you, Virgo, that's wanting to connect. And this could be you here wanting to um, possibly hear this person out. But I feel like you're going to see something about this person that you're not really fond of or something that you're going to bring up. And this person knows this. It's not like they don't know that you're going to call them out for something here that needs to be called out on. OK, but I will say this is someone here that thinks about a new beginning with you. So for those that think this is over or you think like, oh, wow you know this person doesn't really think about me anymore yeah they do okay they definitely do they they do so much that this is someone here that thinks about like um trying to find a way to distract themselves a lot okay by trying to work harder by trying to um you know if, especially if they have a lot of air in their energy it's like they're trying to find different ways to get you out of their mind here Okay, uh, let's see how Virgo is feeling, all right, in the energy of love. How is Virgo feeling at this time? We have the hangman. Some of you are not really wanting to date anymore. Uh, you're, you may be taking a break or wanting to take a break or saying to yourself, you know what, I have other things to focus on right now. So you could be focusing on other things, other departments in your life, which is very healthy for you. But I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm hearing there's like some sort of, 
release that you need all right so maybe it could be working out all right it could be writing it could be um again going for small walks but there's something here that you're doing um, or wanting to do that's going to release a lot of tension um, in terms of moving forward here because I feel like for some of you you feel like things are at a stagnant like um, a standing still or you feel like things are not really moving for you so I feel like you're becoming frustrated with the dating field you're just like what is happening right now in love like what's why am I attracting these people that just don't get it here okay but I will say the advice is again if you feel like you need to release somebody because of a lot of things that you've seen in the past, Virgo, don't hesitate. Do not hesitate to walk away from somebody that's like in a place of sabotaging themselves or sabotaging um, this connection to some degree. All right. What could we expect? What could Virgos expect moving forward here? Mm, yeah, someone here is frustrated the fact that you're just like putting everything on hold. They're sort of frustrated, especially if you're connecting with a Taurus or a Pisces or an Aries. Let's get a little bit more here, please. Oh, we have the world here. So again, as I stated for a lot of you, there's something that start there's something that ended that looks like it's going to resurface again. Okay. When you least expect it, it's resurfacing and it's going to pop up in your energy. And I feel like you're at a place where you know, you're going to wonder, like, how do I respond to this? Should I respond to this? Is this someone that's serious? Is this someone that possibly wants something that's going to have longevity here? All right. What do we have when it comes to um, actions that this person may be taking? Actions here. Let's see if this person's serious. We have temperance here. All right. So this is someone here that just wants to somewhat have like, a peaceful clothes or this is someone here that wants to have like um like some sort of closure with you it's like they want to express themselves it's like there's no need for us to have bad blood there's no need for us to not speak here i feel like behind all of this peaceful talk someone here just really wants you in their energy okay they could try to offer you friendship i feel like this is someone here that just still wants you in their life virgo so it's like i still want you in my life here um wow I feel like this is someone here that feels like you made a very big impact on their life here or you made them feel a lot. This person could be like an artist or a tattoo artist or they just love tattoos here. Either way, I feel like this is someone here that feels like you're part of their soul tribe and they want to move forward here. So I do feel like this person could come towards you with an offer. This person could tell you like, hey, I'm in your area. I'm in your town. I'm in your location. I wouldn't mind meeting up here. For some of you, this person's even going to try to come over or there could be like a middle person involved or there's something about maybe a child or this is someone here that uses someone else to get in touch with you here. Okay. What do we have for my singles? Like what's happening with my singles at this time that are wanting new love okay because i get this energy of virgos really wanting to sort of move forward right and leave toxic behaviors behind right without judgment but leaving certain things behind okay definitely leaving things behind here what's happening in you for new love for virgos here new love please we got another message here. We have the fool. A lot of you could be connecting with an Aries here. You may have two people that come into your energy. All right. Two people that actually want to get to know you, Virgo. Okay. So you'll have options. But I get this energy of you connecting with a new person. And I feel like it's going to be a breath of fresh air. The, one of the main reasons why this happens is the, this past person that you've been connecting with, I do feel like you also want a new beginning, all right? For some of you, you want a new beginning, but you're realizing that this person isn't like, they don't have the most healthiest dating life, right? There's something about this person's dating life that just doesn't really align with what you're looking for. So Spirit is saying like, be balanced and also be open to new directions here when it comes to love because a lot of you are going to get an offer of love here okay we have the eight of cups yeah there's something here that you're walking away from there's something here that you're walking away from and you'll know if this resonates with you if this is you know 
if some of you know already that you've been in a place where you've been frustrated with past movements from someone here that's sort of like a self-sabotager or someone that doesn't notice how they're creating chaos in their life, especially in their dating life here, where they're not being honest. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be a Leo. Okay. Um, also, what else? Or, or a fire sign. All right. Or a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But there's this energy of... Uh, for some of you, one of the things that's happening here, and I just want to give you a heads up, this new energy that comes in that you're wanting, uh, be very mindful that while this new energy comes in, you may still be in a place where you're trying to let someone go. Okay. And I feel like that could be an obstacle moving forward because it's like, you know, can I truly move on? without having some sort of closure with this person. So I do feel like this month moving into April, one of the things that you're going to come to a conclusion is, you know, I have to move on with my life. Like I have to live my life. Remember, this is a very short journey, guys. Remember that. It's a very, very short journey. Okay. 90 years max, right? A hundred years for some of us. All right. Um, 120 for some of us here, but it's a very short journey and life is too short to play games. And I feel like there's an energy of someone perhaps they weren't playing games, but perhaps they weren't emotionally available or perhaps they weren't in this energy of moving towards healthy um, choices. So I do feel like you're at a point where you're saying, I know it hurts, but I have to do it. So I do feel like for some of you, you're moving forward. You're moving forward and not to say that this person's not going to catch up, but I feel like you're making the internal decision to not, you know, sit in this energy of constantly waiting for someone, right? It's like, why do I feel like I was abandoned here, right? For some of you, you feel like you, you know, you're waiting for this person and there's like this strong abandonment energy that's triggering you. It's like, I wait, I wait, they don't show up. I express, they don't express. I open up, they don't open up, and I have to end this cycle, the cycle of crying in my bed or crying, you know, even if there's no tears, but this, this expectation that's never fulfilled here by this person, I have to move on. I just, I just have to. And I feel, if you look at this energy here, I have to move on, right? Some of you, it's like at some point you felt extremely stuck. And you're like, I got to get out of this. Unfortunately, I have to get out of this or fortunately here. And I feel like you have so much like love around you. All you have to do is believe, honestly. Okay. I will talk to you soon, Virgo. Um, have a beautiful. Actually, no, there's no talking to anyone soon here. Let's get a message. We're not leaving yet. Let's get a message from spirit when it comes to this connection. Yeah, a lot of you here, you're focusing on a new beginning for yourselves here. Okay. Virgos, please. What are the message for Virgo? We have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming in, Virgo. Okay. Where someone here is going to express their emotions honestly. And it'll give you a direction. Okay. And we also have release your ex. Again, right? I was ready to run out of here and spirit's like, wait, no. We still need to finish this off. Someone here needs to release their ex. Okay, this could be the person you're connecting with, or again, this could be you, but there's something that needs to be released. Okay. Let's get some initials here or some confirmation letters. We have M. Okay, there could be something that happened in March here or M representing meeting up, but there could be something about March here that could be very big for some of you or something pertaining to Pisces. Okay. What else do we have here for initials? We have I. All right. That could also be someone's last name, someone's initial. We have W. All right. We have W. That could be someone's city, someone's street name. Okay. And let's see, we have a couple more here. We have S, all right? I'm also here in Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. We have F here, okay? I don't know why I'm here in Germany, but I got F here. I don't know why I'm here in Germany. And we have Z and also A, okay? The letter A it could be an Aquarius, an Aries here, or again, something is going to happen big for you in April, all right? 
I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful one. Um, and again, like, share, and subscribe if this resonates.